Hello everyone and welcome back to Minecraft Survival. How is everyone doing today? I hope you're having a nice day. I hope that this video finds you doing okay. In the last video, I got told to kill myself in real in new time. That's about 24 hours for me. It's only been about 20 minutes. So um, yeah, we're gonna keep going with this mine. We're gonna just dig down. Truly, I know, mind-breaking content. Will we ever hit the bottom? Oh, hopefully not. Is there a bottom of the world? Yes, there is. There's bedrock. There didn't used to be. There used to just be the void, and the void fog, and that was very spooky. And as we all know, spooky is the best part about Minecraft. Please don't play like any spooky noises this time. Because I've not heard one in a minute, and I know that they're doing that to like lure me into a false sense of security. Like, oh, I've not heard one of the like spooky scary noises in a minute. Maybe they aren't doing them anymore, and they're just boosh, instantly. Could it stop deloading the chunks whenever I'm not looking at them? Like, it's behind me even really there. Is it? I just actually looked behind me to check. It is actually really there, yes. My wall is really there. Who would have guessed? There you go. I am practically sat against it because of where my bed is. But regardless, I would quite like to find a cave. Like a deep down cave. It'd be crazy if I mined just some shit like a dungeon or a stronghold or a mine shaft, but... Realistically, we can't expect to find those every time, because there's only like three strongholds in existence in worlds of this age. Okay, I'm stood on those blocks, could you not unrender them? That scared me. You know? I'm just cutting wood. This isn't even wood, this is like stone and diorite. Again, truly riveting content on the Bat Tiger channel. Oh, my mum's just gotten home. Lovely. Hope she's had a nice evening. Oh, coal. Finally, something. Coal and iron I have so much of, but I've not found any lapis, any redstone, any diamonds. I've not really found any deeper down caves, so that makes sense, almost. Let's go upstairs and get a bit more, another few, a few pickaxes, shall we? I need to get some stairs in here, I've got the space for it. Oh, it's shit, it's night time. There's not really any punishment for staying up late in this version though, so who cares. Let's go back down to the bottom and just put some stairs on the way up, shall we? You can't be that far down, to be honest. Oh, for God's sake. I don't have a pickaxe and I've just done this to myself. Oh, fuck. I can't believe I've done this. Dude, could I stop fucking up, please? It turns out we are more than... Can I stop? <sighs> we are more than 40 blocks down of stairs, dude. Oh, I didn't even have to come back up. My... <coughs> I knew they were going to do that. I knew you were going to do this. It doesn't scare me. Because I knew it was coming. It's like when you know there's going to be a jump scare in a horror movie, but then it forces you to sit there for like 20 seconds while you slowly wait for the character to turn around. It's like, fuck off, just do the scary thing already. You know? Like, Jesus, it's like when you're watching a show and they like purposefully drag out the suspense to keep you watching and it's like just boring. Like, I, I actively turn shows off if it's like, and the winner is, da 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 da, and then it starts cutting between the contestants. The winner of the thing is, da 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 da, and it keeps cutting between the contestants. They soon will win, eventually is, and I just go, fuck off, I'll just Google it. I just turn the show off, Google it, and then be done with my evening. Because it's just better, you know? You know? You know, right? I'm assuming you know. I'm gonna say that you know. Why? Because, uh, you know now. And if you didn't, now you do. So, uh, congratulations. You, you now have knowledge. More than you did anyways. Am I running low on potatoes? Damn, those are nutritious potatoes. Uh... 
I mean, seriously, they have an entire loaf of bread in a potato when it comes to, like, filling Steve's hunger. I know I'm not Steve, but, like, I'm still a Minecraft player. So, you know. That must be... Maybe it's just a really big potato. Cats are fighting on the stairs. Got stone, variant stone. Oh, granite is stone, but variant granite. Alright. Let's continue mining. I have! I had to sort something out. I'm back now. <sighs> Deeper in we go. I can just hear like my computer's like through my earbuds. I've got no music so far in this series. Is that because? There we are. I fixed it. Now I'm going to get sued by Mojang for having music in their game, in my video about their game. I know. I'll try and name any song on here so that it's not... Not crediting them. Because this is all old C14, C418 songs, I could probably name a good couple of them. Um, I mean like a good couple, like I can't name many. I know the end credits song, I know My Son Venus, I know Wet Hands, I know Dry Hands, I think I know Sweden, I think. I don't know, I'm not I'm not doing my best on my C418 law currently. Which is a shame, I know, I should be sent to the stake for that. But you know, that's besides the point. Here, water flowing. That's a good sign for finding a cave, and a good sign better here because it means the cave won't be fully underwater. And we found it. And there's zombies in there. Oh, I know this song, but I don't know its name. Oh, it's by C418, though. Go listen to his music, it's good. He did most of the better Minecraft stuff. There we go. We unflood this cave to make it easier to explore. It's another fucking ravine. You have to be joking, right? There's no way that every single cave I find leads into a deeper and deeper ravine. Like, there's just no way. This is just so improbable. I shouldn't use words like improbable. I sound like a bastard that's trying to sound smarter than he is. Which, I mean, I'm all right for a touch. I don't, I don't know my IQ, but IQ tests are probably bollocks anyway, you know? Like, you have to pay for regular-ass results from one. And it's like, dude... Just tell me my intelligence and fake intelligence points. You know? Is it really that hard? To do it for free? I mean, your, your quiz is free, why is the answer not free? I'm almost at the... The beloved coordinate. The coordinate that everyone spent... Years of their life mining at. Y equals 11. Where diamonds were found, lives were found, memories were made, and broken gear was gotten through the power of stripping. I mean strip mining. Jesus, that's a very different world if we don't change that. <sighs> Could you not? It's like the music is nice and calming, I'm mining for diamonds, and there's just like random scary noise. Like a horrible history's bit, you know? 
Now for today's historical random scary noise. Rawr! It's the sound of a Scotsman being eaten by a tiger. When did that occur in history? At some point, probably. Feel bad for the man's family. Give gold. What value does gold serve? We can make uh, gapples with it. And like, not just like regular gapples, like enchanted gapples. In the notch apple. And if you call it that, god you are old. <laughs> Could it not despawn the area where I'm walking as the zombie moans? Wording. Ah, oh, god, I'm so fucking dirty minded sometimes. Oh hey, look, the outside world's returning today, hopefully. Phone, phone, P-H-O-N-E, who is it? It's Discord. It's just someone talking about someone's phone, what's around they've painted. Who the hell's walking around up there? Of course it's a creeper! Damn. Hi! You seem... new around here. You need any help? There's a creeper next to you, be careful, they're pretty dangerous. No, I don't need any help dealing with it, that's okay. Dude, I was like... 40 feet away. I know, right? We could've used these blocks, couldn't we? See, one of the reasons I don't buy, like, map hats lore is that this, these, if the Endermen are actually, like, the ancient builders that I'm apparently part of the species of, would they not recognise me? You know? And we're like, nah, don't attack him, he's chill. Or is eye contact just a sign that you want to fight someone in their society? Which makes sense if we're closer to chimps than we are humans. Or people from Birmingham than we are humans. <coughs> Please don't. I need to shrink. I murdered him for no reason and I got no reward other than the XP that I can't use. That is just morals. You kill without reason, and you have no reason to kill. We must continue hiding. I must say, running up this is really fun, but like, partially hitting my head every time is not fun. Turns out hitting your head isn't fun, who would have guessed? Everybody wants to rule the world by tears of fear stuck in my head now. I should like actually commentary instead of just quietly murmuring song lyrics to myself. The thing is, I found the cave, but there's no real like monster in it other than the monster of a ravine that I found. Please don't just be gravel for the next like five billion years. Oh, I've been punished by the gods of Minecraft. My punishment is gravel. And anyone that thinks, oh, it's just gravel, bat tigers overreacting, you, they're not. Any person that has been strip mining, like, really low down, and the gravel has fallen in their tunnel in front of them, knows the pain of just oh, fucking gravel. Please do not fuck the gravel, that is not what that sentiment means. Oh, for fuck's sake. I require new pickaxe. I go get... Oh, the speed of light, apparently, because Jesus Christ characters can travel upstairs quickly. I need more wood. I need to do something other than mining. I'll do two episodes of mining, and then I'll do some wood getting and some building. How does that sound? I think I'll build, like, a farm. 
and uh, probably a house, yeah. Because at the moment, I'm living in a villager house, and while the villager house is nice, I do quite like the villagers in the village as well. Oh! I found the ravine! Neat. Well, let's just grab the rest of that coal and we'll just keep going down for now. There's a flint and steel for if we need. There's a flint for steel if we ever need to go to the nether. Just occurs to me that I don't have keep inventory on, so I really need to be careful about dying here. Because there's like lava over there. As we all know, if you don't have keep inventory on, lava is your biggest fear. That and dying to start with, but dying by lava is especially scary. I'm tempted just to keep mining through the ravine, but at the same time I know that I can't really ignore an entire ravine full of resources, because someone will get mad at me if they see the video. I don't have the inventory space, uh, be gone from me gravel, you are a curse. Can I just like... Perfect, that's that side dealt with, the other side isn't a problem yet, so I'm happy with that. See kids, remember, intelligence is one of the best weapons we were given by the evolution. It's also one of the only weapons we were given by evolution. Abstract thought is kind. Abstract thought and opposable thumbs. The only reason humanity is top dog. Why? Without abstract thought, we wouldn't have thought to do all that tool shit before every other animal did. And believe me, they're evolving too. We'll probably see them actually. Our species, not us. We won't see them evolve to that level because um, we probably won't live that long. But uh, someone in our species will probably see a chimpanzee that's on the same level as like a human of our level. So the question is. What will humans look like by that point? How different will we be? How similar will we be? It's a really fun little hypothetical question, isn't it? You know? What will humanity look like in 10 million years? Well, for one thing, we're slowly evolving to have four fingers instead of five. That's right, your pinky finger, it, like species-wide, our pinky fingers are slowly evolving to be like closer and closer to just being part of our ring finger. So eventually, we could have even less fingers than we do now. That's really scary to someone that seriously gives a damn about how many fingers their species has. Like me, I'm truly am mortified over this. <coughs> oh god. I can't think of anything and then my brain just goes, Oh, well you can't speak? Well here, we'll just make your throat hurt instead. Thanks, very cool. <sighs> That's besides the point. I require wood, and I have an axe and a forest above me. So I'm going to cut down some trees, and I'm going to make some planks, and I'm going to reorganise my shite in the mining area by making a double chest, and not another pickaxe. I'm such a genius. Clearly. Just throwing all of our, like, mining resource all in there. Let's throw all that in there, let's get some more stuff, and then let's get some more torches set up, shall we? My god, I still have potatoes. <coughs> That'll do. This is the first time I've cut down a lot of trees, which is a very stark contrast to my other Minecraft survival I tried in, like, mainline version, where I just removed an entire forest in, like, two episodes, because I felt like, not even, not even two, just, like, one episode, and I would just run over to other areas to get logs while building in the second one. You know, as one does. 
I'm almost tempted to run that series again alongside... Is that the top of the ravine I was just in? Maybe it's linked to it somehow? No, I don't think it could be. <sighs> Regardless, don't fall in it. Oh man, it's not an outdoor day today. I'm gonna go inside. Go back to the village. Better quality of shelter over there than there is over here. Was that thunder? Yeah, I think it was thunder. Dude, stay inside, it's wet and cold out here. Good go dude, stay inside, the weather's English out here, it's awful. Not the storm or rain? Rain, okay. Thank god. That's just an entire stack of iron. Okay. Unexpected, but thank you. Or is it? Just set up some chests in here as well. You know, really make sure that I have what I need. I'm a genius. Truly a genius. It's just like being inside in the rain, you know? But this video is probably about 22 minutes long. It's probably about 20 minutes long, but it's raining. And I want to get editing, so I've got to edit this video. I've got to find the video that originally inspired this so that I can, you know, put this all together. I've got things to do. So thank you all so much for watching. This is the first recording session. There will be more because I really am having fun. See you all of you next time. Bye.